Hello. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily align your scan data to the world coordinate system using Geomagic Spark. As you can see, the scan data and the coordinate system are not squarely aligned to one another. This is probably due to the part being placed randomly in relation to the scanning device when the scan was taken. The first step is to determine where we would like the coordinate system to be located and in what orientation. For this part, I'd like to locate the origin on the bottom corner of the block with the z-axis pointing up along the edge. In order to do this, I must first create features that can be used to define the origin. For this part, I will use three planes. The first step will be to choose the fit plane command. To select the region used for fitting, I will use the smart selection tool. The smart selection tool works by selecting a polygon in the region of interest and dragging the mouse up or down to increase or decrease the selection area. By selecting somewhere on the first face, and dragging the mouse up, the selection will intelligently propagate itself based on curvature, and you can release the mouse button when you have the desired selection. You can now choose complete to generate the best fit plane. You can now repeat the same process to create the other two planes. Once the three planes are created, the next step will be to create a local origin based on the features that we just created. To do this, I will select the three planes in the structure tree on the left hand side, and then I will choose the origin tool. You can see that the origin was placed at the intersection of the three planes. So I can now hide my planes and I will use the move tool to rotate the origin. Now once you have your local origin positioned correctly on your scan data, the final step will be to select everything in the feature tree right click and choose snap to origin. So now you can see that everything that was selected in the feature tree has been reoriented to the world coordinate system and we can now continue on to modeling up our part. 